Does anyone need an AR-15? And is it suitable for home defense? Warm up your keyboards, folks. I'm gonna start a big fight. In this video, we're gonna talk about my personal views on the AR-15 as a tool of defense, specifically home defense. But first, let me tell you to stick around till the end of this video because we have a gun giveaway that you can enter for free, but it ends soon. I am Kevin Michalowski, Director of Content for the U.S. Concealed Carry Association. Now, if you're new to this channel, you need to understand we are here to help you prepare for everything you will encounter before, during, and after a self-defense incident. Now, let's start talking about the AR-15 as a defensive tool. So, of course, you know that the AR-15 is in the news again, still. People are always talking about them. Understand, too, that, you know, Folks are talking about the assault rifle ban. AR does not stand for assault rifle. It stands for Armalite rifle. That's the company that originally manufactured this, what is now the most popular firearm in America. Um, at the time of the original 1993 assault weapons ban, some 400,000 people owned AR-15s in the country. Now we're up to like 5 million. So we're just going to buy AR-15s more often than any other gun when people say they want to ban them or take them away. But... Let's talk about the AR-15 as an effective tool for home defense. First of all, this gun right here, and yes, you can see that it is open and cleared. We'll hold that out for you. See the action is locked open. No magazine in the magazine well, no ammunition anywhere around, okay? So we've got that all set up, safe, ready to go. Please don't call and yell at me about that. We're safe. We're talking about the AR-15 and how you can use this firearm to protect yourself. This. As I showed it to you, it's pretty much your standard version AR-15 carbine, 16 inch barrel collapsible stock. This one happens to be equipped with a kind of a rather inexpensive optical sight, zero power optical sight with rudimentary iron sights on the top so that we can use it as extreme close quarter shooting out to you know, probably 50, 60 yards without any trouble at all. And if you're talking about a self-defense weapon, if somebody's more than 60 yards away from you, you might have other options besides shooting them, but that's a completely different story. We're talking about this rifle and its effectiveness for use as a defensive firearm, specifically for home defense. One of the things that people will talk about when they're talking about using a rifle for home defense is whether or not the ammo is just gonna go flying through all of your walls out the outside of your house, into the neighbor's house, going to kill little Susie across the street or something like that. Understand, it is not. Take a quick look at this right here. That is your standard 55 grain full metal jacket round. This is 5.56 by 45 or commonly called a 223. Um, there are differences in there. Yes, I know all of you hand loaders will tell me all the differences now. They're not interchangeable. So we understand that. But... The AR-15 platform typically fires 5.56 or 223, and it's firing it at a pretty decent clip. You know, where your average handgun bullet is going between 900 and 1400 feet per second, depending on what you got going out there. This is coming out in the low 2000s, 2300 feet per second or something like that. And understand, it's only 55 grains. It is small. It's going really fast. The physics of that says it's going to break up, tumble, get knocked off its path, sort of all of that kind of good stuff if you miss your target. So if you're shooting at a bad guy and you miss, you're not going to get that wild, crazy over penetration with a 223 round that you would get certainly with like a full metal jacket 45 ACP or even a full metal jacket 9mm. It's going to penetrate a lot differently than the Full Metal Jacket 223. And if you get something like the Hornaday TAP ammo, um, the Tactical Application Police or whatever um, we're calling it, it's got the, uh, the polymer tip in the front that helps it expand. Um, that's really not gonna over penetrate badly at all. So you don't have to worry about shooting through your house you know, you still have to know where your bullets are going and what's your target is and what's beyond it. But it's not as bad as people are making it out to be when you're using a rifle. Oh my goodness, you're using a rifle for self-defense. Um, one, make sure it's sighted in properly and you're on target and then you don't have a whole lot to worry about. But two, these tiny little bullets going super fast, um, they tend to dissipate their energy when they hit things other than human tissue and they dissipate their energy in human tissue. Other topics that we talk about, is this gun too big to handle? 
A handgun in your house is pretty easy to move around with, yes, of course, but the rifle gives you some benefits. It's much more accurate. It's easier to shoot a rifle straight. And the standard, and this is not high capacity, this is a standard capacity magazine for the AR-15. Now some historians are gonna call me and say the AR-15 was originally designed with a 20 round magazine, but standard capacity magazine for the AR-15 is 30 rounds. 30 bullets before you have to reload. And then the reloading is just super simple. I can show you quickly how that works. We push the magazine release, the magazine comes out, we put a new magazine in, we're ready to go. So um, it's much easier to reload, especially than reloading a shotgun that you might be using for home defense. 16 inch barrel, small enough to be maneuverable, but yes, it can cause you some problems in really, really tight spaces. And again, you're using a rifle. If you're using an optical sight, a lot of people are using them now, the red dot sights and things like that, make sure that you have some sort of backup, either the backup iron sights that flip up um, at the back of the rifle and the front of the rifle, or in the case of this one right here, it's got rudimentary sights right on the, built right on the top of the uh, um, optical sight there so that I can, at really close range, at least, you know, it's not gonna be a super precision shot, but at close range it's gonna get me on target and get going right there. The AR-15 is very easy to use. The recoil is extremely light. Anybody can shoot this gun comfortably. I, I, I gotta tell you that. If you give a 12 gauge shotgun loaded with buckshot to a smaller statured person and let them shoot that gun and then shoot an AR-15, the smaller statured person will want to shoot the AR-15 every single time because it quite frankly doesn't kick as hard. The one big downside that you're gonna end up with Firing an AR-15 in close quarters, in tight quarters inside a house, is that it's loud. It's super loud. Your ears are going to be ringing. It's um, just understand that that it is noticeably different than firing a pistol, especially when you're firing it in a hallway or in a small room or something like that. So that's one of the things that you need to think about. And also, you might, depending on the load and the ammunition, you might get some muzzle flash, but. Um, certainly the muzzle flash isn't going to be anywhere near as dramatic as something with like a 357 Magnum in a four inch barrel or something like that, but you will get muzzle flash and you will get considerable report when you're using your AR-15. So this debate about do you need an AR-15? Well, need, that's a subjective word. We're not going to talk about need. Is it effective? Yes, it is very effective for close quarters fighting. Our soldiers are using this as a defensive weapon all over the world in house-to-house -house fighting out on the battlefields. This system just works. It's easy to use. It's reliable, especially when maintained properly. Clean your guns regularly and it will continue to function. And it can be made to fit for people of all different sizes. We have an expandable and collapsible stock for people who are tall, short, and anywhere in between. There we got it. See, we're just pushing the button. We're sliding the stock in and out at multiple different locations. So easy to set up for lots of different people. Lightweight, easy to use, functions quickly, and lots of ammo capacity. You know, um, Honestly, we don't know how many times we're going to have to shoot a bad guy or how many bad guys are going to show up. Nobody I've ever talked to who's been in a gunfight has said, wow, I wish I had fewer bullets. That's not the way it works. So AR-15, appropriate for home defense? Yes, absolutely. If you can get your hands on one now in the current climate, I would say buy one. Learn to use it, get training. It will be a very effective tool for defending your family and your home. Folks, thank you for sticking with us all the way to the end. We have a gun giveaway. It's going on now, but it is going to end soon. And all you need to do is click on the link below and reveal what gun you can win. I'm Kevin Michalowski, Director of Content for the U.S. Concealed Carry Association. If you like videos like this, subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell. We will notify you every time we come out with a new video. Until the next video, stay safe.